in the song where you say, um, you know, how sick am I? I wish you health. And then you, you repeat the line, you know, as if like, you know, did you hear what I said? Like, this line is pretty hot. Like, <laughs> um, was that like purposefully? Like, you, you repeated it like. Yeah, I, it was a joke for me. Like, you know, I'm, my, my humor is dry. So it's almost like Seinfeld. Like, it was like, you know, that, that type of thing. I would, the, the line was really uh, um, surviving droughts. I wish you well, yeah. like a well that's in the ground, you know, provides water and the drought. That, yeah. was, the, that was the cleverness of, of the line. So I, I just repeated it. But it's, it wasn't like you missed it because I knew kids, they'll be on the internet and they'll talk about it a hundred different yeah. times. But it was just more so, it was funny to me. Like, yeah. it's my humor. Another good song on American Gangsta is I Know. And like the, the thing that's impressive about I know, uh, again, double entendre, it could be about a girl, it's about her heroin, but it's not only just, you know, lyrics, it's, it's the sound. You know, it sounds like a song that could be for girls or whatever, the music, whatever. But how did you pick the, that beat to match that lyric? Because like, like 50, for instance, had Baltimore Love Thing. Right. But it, w it was harder, and it was almost like he was forcing people to, over the head to be like, don't you see? It's a double entendre. But your thing it was more hidden. It sounded like a... You know what it sounded like for me, the, 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 the emotion of the track. Like, first of all, the emotion of the track dictates the song on it for me. Like, that's the first thing I do. First thing I do is, what is the song? What is it saying? So to me, that's, that song sounded like heroin. Mm -hmm. That's what it sounded like to me. Like, it sounded like, you know, somebody like Miles Davis in the jazz club. Right. I don't know if y'all could use this for TV, but this is just an honest. <laughs> go online. Yeah, this is just an honest answer, you know. Like Miles Davis in the jazz club, just high out of his mind, just going off playing some of the most amazing freestyle music you've ever heard. That's what it felt like. The song felt like that to me. So, and and making making the song right. That's what happens with drugs. They don't pound. They don't pound you like that. They talk to you sweet, right. it, and that's the allure of it. And it pulls you in. And that's what was happening. Like, the lyrics was harmless. It was like a love song. So it was pulling you in and pulling you in further and further until you realize that now you've addicted to this, this drug. Yeah. You know, so that's, that was the whole, uh, the, oh, the method and, you know, behind why it sounds so sweet. Right. With, what, with the Britney line, when you said, let's step some Britney, like, that's not exactly like a punchline because it's not so clear. Like, yeah. you know, you have to, like, backtrack and be like, well, She's obviously in trouble. She hasn't done her 12 steps program, so she's done no, no steps or whatever. <laughs> like, um, f for you, when you write a line like that, do you ever have to explain that to somebody? No, nah, that's not what it's for. It's really for those the people who like to listen like that first. And it's for people to catch later. I think some things you have to leave in there. It's almost like an Easter egg hunt or mm -hmm. whatever. And you just leave things that you know are too far. You know, they're not set up. You know, it's not your typical punchline, and it's not, you know, you can't guess it. Yeah. You know, I, sometimes someone says a line, and you can guess the next line, you where they're going. You can't guess it. You can't see it. It just comes out of nowhere. And you might not get it ever. Right. Or you might get it five years later. That's, that's what the muse, that's what it's for. You know, some things you put on, and you're like, oh, my goodness, I didn't realize he said that. You know, I think that's the best thing about music. I think that's the best thing about music, like just realizing something years later. So, yes, I, I just leave certain things out there, leave them open-ended and, you know. Yeah.